we have 50% of Indian consumers who, who go online and purchase and they have never purchased on a brand on a particular st or a store online. So there are, we have 50% new first time shoppers, right? 65% of the shoppers have now gone and become your repeat customers. They are the ones who go back and purchase something online, which they would have either purchased via in store or they would have either placed an online order earlier. Now, the fun fact over here is everyone around, including us, we are looking for more and more convenience and a better experience. And stats says that 70% of Indian customers are willing to pay extra for a better convenience. Consumers also look an easy option to return the entire items, right? Now, returns is a very critical part in our entire last mile. Last mile now just not comprises of deliveries, but it also comprises of returns. Organizations across the globe are working on how can they merge the entire operations of deliveries happening and returns happening at the same time, being facilitated by the same fleet which they have on ground to bring in a bit of optimization and cost reduction in the entire journey. Every day, the cost of living is increasing. People are expecting more in terms of wages, right? And there is a high attrition rate in the entire delivery partner ecosystem. The biggest challenge today for any logistics company is how do we reduce the attrition within the delivery partners? Because as more and more brands come up, partners are attracted towards different offers which are being given by brand these upcoming brands, which increases a lot of attrition for the entire delivery partners. The rise of quick commerce has brought in a good concept of dark stores. Brands are now looking at not just fulfilling orders from their warehouses, but they're also looking at fulfilling orders from either dark stores or even from the closest retail store next to your house and which we call as the only channel where consumers have the flexibility to go ahead, place an order at the store and ensure that the delivery happens to them within 24 hours. I can walk into a store, ensure that the delivery is happening to me within 24 hours, right? Or else I can place an order online and then brands leverage the stores around you to ensure that the deliveries are happening on time. Getting closer to the consumer has a huge benefit, which is ensuring that there is less amount of friction in the entire order journey once it is placed. FADR stands for first attempt delivery date, as mentioned by Divya. This is one of the most important metrics which are tracked in the entire logistics world. And again, this is a consumer, this is a consumer expectation too, that my order should get fulfilled as soon as possible within the first attempt. Now, one of the key problems which was highlighted over here was bad or poor quality of addresses. This can be fixed in two parts. Number one would be on improving or adopting alternate methods at the time of address collection, such as do not just let the consumer type the address, right? But also allow the consumer to probably share the location on the map, right? However, all of these processes bring in a bit of friction in the entire purchase experience. Hence, consumers can leverage the entire geocoding technology where as locals also, we offer the same, where we take in the entire address of the consumer, convert it into machine understandable language, and then try to find the latitude and longitude of it. In addition to that, what we go ahead and do is if there is any outliers which we detect, if the system is not confident about finding the entire location, we go ahead and send a personalized communication to your consumer 
before the entire routes are planned by asking them to confirm whether the location which the system has captured is correct or not. So these are the two different alternate methods which can be adopted to ensure a better address collection method.